Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Magical Memories Travel. I know, I know, I've been away for, what, a year and a half, something like that? But hey, we are back, we are smiling, and we are ready to have another fun adventure. But where's this adventure going to bring us to? It's going to bring us to New York City. That's right. Currently, I am sitting in MCO. Uh, I have my coffee. I have my breakfast sandwich. And I am ready to go on this amazing, amazing adventure. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to New York City. Um, this is going to be a really fun time, seeing a few Broadway shows, uh, just enjoying the sights and the sounds. I'm going to be there for three nights, four days. So we're going to have a lot to explore and a lot to see. My flight leaves in about two-ish hours um, at 9.30, so flight leaves soon. I am here early just to get some coffee, just to sit down and kind of take a breather, but I hope you guys are ready for another great adventure here on Magical Memories Travel. Travel? Wow, travel. <laughs> Let's have fun. And also, also, if you guys have social media, please make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at magical.memories.com travel to see all the fun TikToks and food, whatever. This is going to be such a smorgasbord of just a bunch of fun things. Also, I got this new cool lavalier microphone. Um, I'll see if I can link the exact microphone in the description below because this, this is awesome. It was only like $10, $15 on Amazon. This right here is really, really cool. All right, now I am on the plane. Um, I love how as soon as I start this, something goes off, but I am on the plane. I've got my nice window seat, and I am excited to take off. Uh, we take off in a little over 45 minutes, so i got priority boarding. I'm just sitting. There's like hardly anybody on this plane, so uh, it's going to be a nice flight. All right, so I am off the plane. I am at the pickup slash drop-off area in Terminal A, waiting for my lift. Now, you can use one of three apps. You can use Curb, which what I would recommend. It's cheaper. Lyft and Uber. Now I am in my lift and I am on my way to my Airbnb. I'll give you guys a little tour of the Airbnb itself. Um, but let's get some city views while driving in. Here's the city in the background. And we are driving into the city now, going over the bridge. City in the background. And now we are in the Airbnb. So let's give you guys a little tour of this tiny New York apartment. So we're going from front door to the rest of the uh, apartment. So this is the front door. I'm right on the eighth floor as soon as you get off the elevator. Um, we've got, I've unpacked all my stuff just to kind of sit here, let my suit jackets kind of like hang down. Um, we've got sitting area here, mirror, little tiny kitchen, nothing fancy, nothing too big, uh, fridge, uh, freezer, and refrigerator. Um, we got pots, pans, and stuff like that, utensils. Two, I believe these are double beds. So two double beds. Uh, this one's comfier than that one, so I will be sleeping. Uh, actually, that one's comfier than that one. So I'll be sleeping on that one tonight. A uh, little desk setup. Uh, some amenities here. We've got the bathroom. I already have my toiletries set up. Those toiletries came, like the Tresemme and the Suave and the Amazon Basics stuff. All of that came with the Airbnb, and I love the exposed brick. This is actually really nice. And then we've got a nice little shower. So yeah, this is, uh, there's me. So this is a tiny little uh, New York apartment. So this is where I'll be staying for the next couple of nights. Now that we have toured the Airbnb, it is time for me to get ready to go out and explore the city a little bit. I'm gonna go get myself a slice of a New York pizza because that was one of the first things I wanted to do or I wanted to eat when I landed in New York City. So I'm gonna go get, get, my, get myself some coffee and I'm gonna go find myself some pizza. So like I said, I decided to go walk and explore the city. I'm in front of the Macy's store. So like, this is, I'm already having literally the time of my life here in the city. Um, I haven't even been out on the city streets for like 10-ish minutes, but I absolutely just adore this city. The city is entirely fast-paced. Everybody's walking their own directions. Everybody's dealing with their own things. Life is life here in New York City, and I really do enjoy it. The weather is absolutely gorgeous here in the city. Let's cross the street real quick before we get hit. I'm currently walking down Broadway in order to go to Joe's Pizza, which is one of the original pizza shops here in New York City. 
and one of the most famous pizza shops here in New York City. It was featured in Spider-Man, the movie Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, um, the best Spider-Man. Tom does it great. Andrew was fantastic, but we're not talking about Marvel. We're here to talk about New York City. So I am on my way to Joe's Pizza. So we have now officially arrived at Joe's Pizza line out the door as I kind of expected at this time of the day, but Joe's Pizza, we're gonna have fun. All right, so now I have my slices of pizza from Joe's Pizza. Holy shit. Like, literally, let's see if I can... Look at the size of that thing. It looks fantastic. And first thing you do, flop test. Doesn't flop. I'm gonna go for the white pizza. Mm. Yep. That's exactly what I needed. Oh my god. This is their white pizza covered in fresh mozzarella. Just, oh my lord. The sauce tastes perfect. The mozzarella cheese perfectly melted. The crust, crispy bite. Absolutely amazing. Joe's Pizza. 10 out of 10. Go check it out. So the sauce on the white pizza, amazing. Sauce on the fresh mozzarella, even better. It has this subtle hint of sweetness to it that I've never had any other pizza sauce have. This, this is amazing. I, honestly, mm. do it. Go to Joe's. You'll thank me later. It only cost me $14 even, and I got two slices of pizza and a San Pellegrino. Not bad. I think the most expensive slice in there is like six fifty, which is amazing. You go to Disney World, that slice of pizza is 12 bucks. So here at Joe's Pizza, top notch. And now I am dead center in the middle of Times Square. Like literally, this looks so cool. I'm only holding it up just so that you can hear me because it is very busy and very loud but oh my god, just look at how cool this place is. I absolutely love Times Square. They're setting up for what's called TSQ Live, so I'm guessing Times Square Live is happening right behind me. But uh, yeah, this is just so cool. Now, not many people know this about Times Square, but right over here, these grates, it's actually a giant art installation. So you can walk over and you can hear this art installation running 24 seven here in the middle of Times Square. But my gosh is this place just breathtaking and i'm gonna come back here at midnight when they do like a special little um like giant digital art exhibit out here at midnight so yeah this is just amazing absolutely breathtaking they've got several street performers out they've got like giant king kong and like Minnie mouse and megatron and stuff just I'm just here to have fun. Like this is, I know if I'm rambling, I'm rambling, but this is just so, so cool to see. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cross the street. You guys are gonna go on a little journey with me through Times Square. Right now in Times Square, they have the world's largest hot dog. Uh, like this thing right here behind me, the world's largest hot dog. Um, it was spraying confetti at some point, like being lifted up and confetti was being sprayed on it. But yeah, Times Square, everyone. Times Square, New York City. I've just been trying to kill time before I go back into my Airbnb and get ready for Back to the Future, the musical tonight at the Winter Garden Theater. So I won't be able to bring the camera and film and whatnot uh, inside of the theater, but I will uh, give you guys a non-spoiler review of the show. So you guys know uh, my thoughts, but I can already tell this show is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So it's at six. Uh, it's at six thirty, I believe, is when the doors open. Uh, Seven o'clock is showtime. So I'm just trying to kill at least maybe another hour, hour and a half. So yeah, maybe I might go visit another park. Totally excuse the messiness in the background, but Broadway so uh, show fit check. There it is. Uh, I'm all ready for Back to the Future the Musical. I am so, so excited. Uh, this is going to be such a fun time. I'm heading there right now. I'm going to grab some food along the way, but um, 
Doors open 45 minutes ahead of time, shows at 7, so doors open at 6.15. Currently, it is 5.33, so it opens in less than an hour. I'm going to start walking the street and uh, find something to eat and um, eat it and then head to the show. So uh, I will catch you guys when I get to the theater. I'm just gonna take a little second. I don't have uh, my lavalier mic, so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I am at the theater right now, waiting for the show. Um, it is currently, let me see, hold on. Ooh, 6.20, so show starts at seven. I'll let you know how it is. And now we are back in the Airbnb. Holy moly, what a day. Let's unpack this day, shall we? First off, we started at MCO. We flew from MCO to LaGuardia. Took an Uber, went to our Airbnb, checked in, gave you guys a little tour, then went straight to Joe's Pizza, had some of the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. It's New York pizza. You can never go wrong with that, and you can never go wrong with Joe's, so definitely go ahead and check out Joe's. We checked out a park. Um, we walked around Times Square, and then we saw Back to the Future the Musical, which, oh my gosh, without giving anything away, no spoilers, it was beautifully translated from screen to stage and it was just i have nothing to say because i was left absolutely speechless especially the very end i'm just going to say one phrase they definitely didn't need roads where they were going do with that information what you will and go see back to the future the musical because i promise you you will not regret it that was an incredible out-of-body experience. It I've, I'm a big Back to the Future fan, always have, always will be, and this made me love the franchise even more. Seeing it live just played out right in front of me. So, so awesome. Uh, I am going to be getting ready for bed because I have another long day of adventures for you guys and myself tomorrow. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning, but as of right now, I hope you guys had a fun time watching this video. I hope you guys always have a fun time watching my videos and makes you want to travel more because I absolutely love traveling for not only myself, but so you guys can see some awesome places that hopefully you get to visit. If you guys want to follow me on social media, please follow me on all social media platforms at magical.memories.travel. See you in the next video. Bye now.